Hello and welcome back to another Unreal Engine tutorial. Today we are taking a request from Ryan Peaton and he says, any chance you could make a video when you switch weapons, then the amount of ammo you have saves instead of resetting to full ammo. So we are taking on that challenge and that is what we will be doing today. All right, so if you haven't already seen uh, the video about how to implement an ammo system, please go ahead and watch that first and then come back to this video because we are going off of that video. We are going off of the code that we made in that video. All right, so in order to do a weapon switching system that keeps ammo, we're gonna wanna, first of all, we're gonna wanna have a second weapon, right? So all I've done is copy pasted the, the weapon and the sphere that comes with the, with the template. And I'm going to name this gun 2. And we're going to rename this first gun to gun 1. Just uh, so we don't get confused. Hit compile and save. And alright, over here at the construction script. We are going to want to select these three things and duplicate it. Plug it in. And we are going to change gun 1 into gun 2. And that should all be good gun 2 and gun 1. Now for gun 1 we're going to change the color to blue just so that we can keep track of what is what and gun 2 we're going to change it to red. There we go. Now gun 2 you're going to want to click on gun 2 over here and over at the search details you're going to type in hidden and we're going to set hidden in game to true because we don't want the gun to show. We don't want both guns showing at the same time. So if I hit play, we should see a blue gun. All right. And uh, all right, so let's begin. So first of all, we're gonna want to, we're gonna want to change current ammo and, all right, we're gonna wanna duplicate current ammo. So control C, control V. And we're going to name this gun 2 current ammo. We're going to rename current ammo into gun 1 current ammo. And max ammo into gun 1 current ammo. And then we're also going to go ahead and copy paste gun 1 max ammo. And we're going to rename it to gun 2 max ammo. So now we have two of each. So we've got gun 1 current ammo and gun 1 max ammo. And we've got gun 2 current ammo and gun 2 max ammo. Hit compile and save. Now we're going to want to create a custom event here and we're going to call this swap weapon. Swap weapon. All right. So, um, all right. We're also going to want to create a new variable and we're going to call this active weapon int. And we're just going to change this to an integer. Hit compile and save. And I'm planning on using weapon int to determine at all times if I am at gun one or I am at gun two. And the way I'm planning to do this is to use a flip flop that basically switches from gun one to gun two at all times. And to determine whether I'm at gun 1 or gun 2, I'm using weapon int. So if weapon int is equal to 0, then I know that I'm at gun 1. But if it's at 1, then I know that I'm at gun 2. So by default, active weapon int is 0, and we're going to use this integer to determine which gun we have active. So swap weapon, we are going to want to do a flip-flop. So go ahead and drag out a swap weapon and then type in a flip-flop. And we are going to want to go from 0 to 1. We just want to swap between 0 and 1. All right. So what we're going to want to do is every time we go active weapon in 0, we're going to want to get our gun 1. And we're going to want to set it to... We're going to do a set hidden in game and we're going to make sure this is unticked. 
so that we can see it in game. Um, and then for B in the flip flop, we're gonna want to copy paste this set hidden in game, and we're gonna plug in gun two for this. Hit compile and save, and we're gonna do the opposite for this now. So we're gonna duplicate hidden in game, or sorry, we're gonna select gun two and select hidden in game, copy paste, plug this in up here. But now we're gonna want to hide gun two when we show gun one, right? So we do the opposite for this side. We're going to want to hide gun one, compile and save. All right. So this is swap weapon. We can actually create a, an input map for this. So let's go into settings, hit project settings, go back into input and hit the plus icon here. We're going to call this swap weapon. And we're gonna use uh, Q for this. We're gonna we're gonna use Q to swap weapon, or we can do tab. Let's do tab. Tab. So every time you hit tab, you swap weapon. Um, all right. So we're gonna we're gonna delete this custom event, and we're gonna right click and type swap weapon. So now it should be under action events, and plug this in there. Hit compile and save. And let's put a print string here just to, just so we could see if this is working or not. So we're going to do weapon one and then print string over here. Weapon two, hit compile and save. And let's see if this is working. So right now it's blue. I hit tab. It says weapon one. If I hit tab, it says weapon two. Hit tab again. It goes blue. Hit tab again. It goes green. Tab, 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 tab. So you can see that we're actually switching between weapons already. Uh, so now we're going to want to implement the ammo system for each, right? So, all right. So when we spawn a projectile, we want to make sure that it is weapon specific. So what we can do here is we can do a, we can do a branch. No, we can do a switch on int. Here we go. All right, so now we're actually using our active weapon int in the switch int function. So my plan here is I'm using the weapon int to determine whether, so let's say weapon int equals zero. So now my plan here is to use the ammo for weapon one. And then whenever I fire from weapon one, I want to reduce, sorry, I want to reduce the ammo from weapon one. But if weapon int equals one, which means we're in gun two, then I want to reduce the ammo from weapon two. Or sorry, I want to use the ammo from weapon two. And when I fire, I want to reduce the ammo from weapon two. So this is why we set up a weapon int in the first place. So we can actually determine what weapon is active and we can manipulate the ammo for whatever weapon is active and then we plug in our active weapon int here so what this is doing is basically it'll allow us to control what we do based on our active weapon int so if we're on weapon one i want it to just go as normally um and then if we are in weapon two, I'm going to select all of this, copy everything here. And I'm just going to paste it right below. Drag this down a little bit. Now I'm going to plug switch on int one into this one that we just copied. But now we're going to use the separate variables. So now we plug in gun two current ammo here, compile and save. And we also want to be changing gun two current ammo here instead of gun one. So we're going to delete all this and we are going to set gun two current ammo. And we're just going to do the exact same thing we did up here. So gun two current ammo minus minus plug this in. Plug everything in. And we also want this to 
We also want this to reset our reloading. All right, so this should all be good. So let's do for our gun two, we want it to have, let's make it three. It only has three ammo. All right. And for our reloading, we want this to do something else. So we're gonna put a branch in here. Oh, sorry, we're not gonna do a branch. We're also gonna do a switch on int. We're gonna do another switch on int here. So here we see it again. I'm using the active weapon int. Active weapon int to determine when whenever we reload which which ammo should we reload, right? So again, whenever our character reloads, I'm gonna use the active weapon int to check whether are we on weapon one or are we on weapon zero? Or sorry, are we on are we on weapon one or are we on weapon two? And if we're on weapon one, then I need to get whatever the max ammo is for for weapon one, and set our current ammo to the max for weapon one. But if our active weapon int is a, is on weapon two, I need to set the max ammo for. Weapon 2. I need to set our current ammo for weapon 2 to the max ammo for weapon 2. So again, I'm using here again the active weapon int that we set earlier to determine when reloading which gun we're actually reloading. And we are going to plug in the active weapon int. So if it's 0, then we want it to do what it's been doing. But if it's on 1, then we want it to, s to reload our second gun so we're gonna set gun to current ammo here plug in gun to max ammo and plug this in we're gonna do we're gonna change this to gun 2 done reloading and this one should say gun 1 done reloading hit compile and save and all right i think we can try this out now So I'm actually going to swap these around because we actually start at zero. So we want it to go to one first. Compile and save. So I'm going to shoot five, four, three, two, one, zero. And then it's going to reload. Now it says gun one done reloading. So five, four, three, two, one. We're going to leave it with one ammo. Press tab, switch over to our red gun. Now we're going to shoot two, one, zero. And then we're going to reload this red gun. Three, two, one, zero. And we're going to swap back to blue. And if our code is right, then we should still have one bullet in blue, right? So let's shoot. It goes to zero. And then now we click again, reload. Five, four, three. Let's leave it at three. Swap over to red. And reload our red gun. Three, two, one, zero. And then when we swap back to blue, it should still be at three ammo so we go back to blue so it should be two one zero and then reload so there you go that is how you could approach a weapon swapping and saving of the ammo system there are many ways to do this guys so uh if you want uh, more info don't uh, go ahead and comment leave a comment below i do read them and yeah maybe i'll make a video on it peace out hope you guys learned something uh, again, if you guys want to support the channel, hit the like button. It'll help other people watch the video. It'll help my channel grow. And if you really want to support us, head over to our Google Play Store page where we have a bunch of free games. Go ahead and download some of them. Uh, they're all free. And, if, uh, and go ahead and leave a rating and a review for us. Thanks so much. Peace out.